You're welcome once again. So today we'll be talking about bar in bar chart. And pretty much what we're trying to achieve is what you have on the screen. Minor, the yellow, serious on red, and fatal on blue. Yeah, the color codes are not adequate. You can change them to fit what you are trying to communicate. So literally, this is exactly what we are trying to communicate. Now, to help us to achieve this, we've got a data set that we're following, which is Yobe, states in Nigeria, number of accidents that were fatal, number of accidents that were serious, and number of accidents that were what? Minor. That's exactly where we're going with this. Now, let's go back to Tableau. Let's go back to Tableau and see how we can achieve this. First, you're going to bring in your state. And there you have your state. Looks good. Next thing, I'm going to bring in one of the measures. And that looks really good. Now, for you to bring in a second measure that will stay at the same axis with fatal, what you need to do is bring in what? that one and drop it at the axis. Now, when it fits on the axis, watch this, it turns green, which is I'm aligning to the axis. Is that all right? You drop it right there. Now you can see fatal and minor looks good on the same axis. Same thing we're going to do with serious. We're going to bring it right down here, drop it right there. And there you can see the all three looks good. Now, the, the next thing I would do is pull the measure names and drop it on what? Colors. And there you have it. Measure names separated by colors. Fatal, minor, and serious. You can see the color code for each. One way you can do is you could do this in this manner. Bring in an average null, so a, a null peel, yeah? And if you bring in a null peel, that's also a good way to represent this, which is you have the null peel separating each of these states and gives you a fine, sleek look, yeah? So what you could do is you could remove this and you have, have it looking this way. And then you use the legend on the title bar to explain. This is a really good slick way of representing. However, this is not where we're going to today. So I'm going to take off the norm. And well done. And I will take now off the measure name. So I already have measure names here. I'm going to take it off now. Once we take off measure names from the row column, this is exactly the way this looks. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take measure names and drag it to what? Size. Now, if you drag this to size, you're going to have this experience. Yeah, I'll make it a bar chart. Now, when you have this experience, go right here to analysis, stacked bars. What you are saying is unstack them. Right now, they are in a stack. You're saying unstack my work unstack my work. So you off the chart, the, the stack, and that means unstack my work. Now you can see, what can you see? Yellow is what? Minor. Um, blue is fatal. So one way we could do is to rearrange this. Um, so I could rearrange this, bring serious in the middle. Sorry. So you could rearrange this until it fits what your goal is. Yeah. So rearranging that is minor comes first, serious comes second, and fatal stays ahead. Thank you very much. I hope that does it. Let me know if there are some other things you would like us to capture in our training. Thank you.